good morning good afternoon good evening depending on the time you are watching this video my name is blessing akan thank you so much my returning subscribers for always watching my videos and if you are viewing for the first time you are highly welcome to my channel don't forget to give this video a thumbs up as you watch to the end yeah it's another beautiful monday morning being the 18th day of march 2024 and i bring to you today the punch newspaper and the punch sports extra i will be sharing with you the headlines i am seeing here today because it is worth knowing all right and our big news today from the punch newspaper is soldiers killing Tinubu Senate other manhunts for killers, troops cop warring communities. And the writer says, President condemns attacks, says DHQ has full authority to bring anybody responsible to justice. Another writer says, Senate's retired generals, other firm, demand top actions against killers, condole with military. And this big story is on page 2 of the Punch newspaper this morning. Again, we have another story here uh, which says uh, consumers lament POS machine shortage at Lagos discounted food markets. That story is on page 8 of the Punch newspaper this morning. Again, we have another story here uh, which said Senate won once again supplementary budget excess loans that story is on page 22 of the punch newspaper this morning again we have another one here which says abduct abducted editor's wife cries for help says husband is it going that story is on page 8 of the punch newspaper this morning again we have another story here we say textile imports seven others group 1.4 trillion naira after cbn ban leaves that story is on page 22 of the punch newspaper this morning again we have another story here we says federal government eyes 1 billion dollars World Bank loans for IDPs, Agri. That story is on page 21 of the Punch newspaper this morning. Again, we have another one here. We say the strike. SSANU NASU vow to grant varsities government fins ignorance. That story is on page 9 of the Punch newspaper this morning. And again, we have another one here. We say the federal government plan talks with Ghana others to protect on the sea cable. That story is on page 22 of the Punch newspaper this morning. And the story that captured my mind here is that of the soldiers killing. And that which the federal government is planning talks with Ghana, others to protect on the sea cables. I don't know why they went ahead to kill so many soldiers. It's so sad. And um the issue of the cables is really affecting affecting our network for the past two weeks i have a friend in ghana he also told me that um they are having network issues both to recharge both bank and uh, uh, telecommunication so i hope the federal government will do something about it okay let's go to the punch spot extra my lovely people and our big news here is uh, chukweze score first series a goal after eight months finally <laughs> and the rider say mofi backs ninth league one goal after brace another rider says again Nado Zia saves penalty in Paris, FC win. And we have another story here. We say Joshua rises in heavyweight ranking. That story is on page 2 of the Punch newspaper. Again, we have another one here. We say Steve Nigerian climbed to second after day 10. Team Nigeria hopeful of medals at Athletes begin. That story is on page 2 of the Punch Sports Extra. Again, we have another one here. We say Ahmad, late winner, sent devils to FA Cup last fall. That story is on page 8 of the Transport Extra. We have another one here. We say again, Awoniyi, out of Eagles, friend lies. That story is on page 7 of the Transport Extra. We have another one here. We say United City Battle for Gumeres. That story is on page 4. We have another one here which says Palmer set for 150k euro per week blues contract. That story is on page 4 of the punch board extra. We have another one here which says Asena ready to sell Nelson. That story is on page 5 of the Punch Sports Extra. We have another one here which says Yellow Green Brace for 
Namibia test. That story is on page two of the Punch Sports Extra. And again, we have the last headline here, which says uh, Giral set for MLS switch. That story is on page three of the Punch Sports Extra. And these are the news we have today from the Punch newspaper and the Punch. Punch Sports Extra, and I felt it is important to share with you as usual. Thank you so much. Until I see you on my next video. Bye bye.